This is the HeartMath M-Wave Emotion Visualizer. And the goal here is to generate positive emotions. And the more positive emotions I generate through achieving heart coherence, the more stars are going to come out of the nebula or the galaxy here. So let's see how I do. I'm going to click Start. And that activates the M-Wave. You can see down here it says M-Wave connected and recording, coherence low. Here's my heart rate. And now I'm going to generate my own heart coherence. So you can see down here that I'm generating high coherence. You see my heart rate. That's my average heart rate. And I generated a lot of stars there because I was in high coherence. Pretty neat. And this is the follow-up to the emotion visualizer with Starfire that I just did. And this is looking at now the M-Wave data screen, the graph. And this shows my heart rhythms here. And you see this smooth wave here. This represents coherence, rhythmic breathing, focusing on positive emotions and gratitude generates heart coherence. And so I generated heart coherence here. This is what it looks like. And that's what activated then the stars in the Starfire Emotion Visualizer. And here's a look at the end of my coherence uh, practice. And you can see as I wrapped it up here that the heart rhythms get a little more chaotic and not, so, not such a smooth wave. And now we can look at my accumulated coherence score and you see the blue line, that's where my coherence levels were. And you can see there's a line here and here. And this represents the zone of coherence. We could just call it the zone. And as you can see, pretty much from the beginning, my heart rhythms were in the zone. So that's what we mean when we say you were in, we were in the zone. <laughs> Finally here, we're going to look at the coherence ratio graphs from this demonstration. And this shows my average heart rate during the course of the practice, the game with Starfire. I was in low coherence 9% uh, of the time, that's red. Medium coherence 5% of the time. And high coherence 86% of the time. So that shows essentially I was in high coherence most of the time.